Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make a video. I tried to make one a while ago with my tablet and it wouldn't do it. It seemed like it went too long. So here I can go longer. I'm going live. So, uh, you know, any comments or anything I'll definitely take. Um, something must be glaring off of something. Um, yeah, I was going to respond. Uh, my mom went to the bar today and talked with me, you know, because I can't go over there. I can't, I'm not allowed. Uh, so she went. And um, it didn't go well. It was a disaster. I'll talk about that in a second. But I also got asked a question. Uh, why do I care about going to that bar or whatever? And I'll respond to that after I talk about my mom and the, what happened over there. So my mom went to the bar. She went after she got off work. If I, I didn't tell her to go. She did it on her own. I really didn't want her to go because it could have made things worse. But... Um, it was a disaster, and I, that's, that's what I'm going to get into. She went over there, and she went in and wanted to speak to one of the managers. And uh, one of the managers, uh, he wasn't there. She said he was really nice, and he said, uh, I wasn't here, you know, so I can't respond, you know, to what happened. And uh, she said, okay, well, let me speak to, you know, the one that was here. So he came out, and he was not nice at all. Mom said very sarcastic, very condescending. And he lied too, in my opinion, and I'll get into the. He said, uh, you know, she was telling him about the bouncers and everything that he threw me out and pretty much didn't give me a reason. He even said to me, you know, I don't really know what's going on, you know. And uh, she told the bouncer, I mean, the, the manager that, and he said, well, I trust my bouncers, you know. Yippee. And there's no cameras in there, I don't think, so nothing can verify anything. Um, and she said, uh, you know, well, something, something, you know, they went on and on and, and said, she said, well, you know, my son wouldn't do that. And I wouldn't, I would never video up girls skirts or whatever they said I did. And, uh, he said, well, maybe you don't know your son as well as you think. And mom said, I responded, I know my son, you know, real sarcastic. And mom said, cause he was basically being sarcastic with her the whole time. And, um, he, um. Um, Mom said she mentioned, which I had told her this, that people, you know, get in fights at the bar and they're allowed back in, either that night or maybe, in, you know, the next week or something like that. And he said, no, they're not. We have a list of names and they are not allowed back in. Baloney. That's a lie. Because, I don't know if he's lying, but definitely on other times they have been let back in because I've been there. A uh, black girl and a black uh, girl and white girl got into a fight real bad outside black girl never had to leave i don't know if we don't know who started what black girl never even had to leave that night they stayed the whole time your know, glasses got broke outside all that stuff um then the white girl she she was really drunk so she might have been the one to start it but she left and i thought they might have thrown her out that night but she came back in about an hour and a half later so they didn't throw her out and uh, uh you know, so that was a lie by him. And she said, "Mom said, I, and here's the here was the kicker. Whoever's listening, here was the clincher. Mom said, I said, well, I just kind of feel like my son's rights were violated, and they were. I, I guarantee looked at her and he went, what rights? First Amendment rights, a uh, right to assemble." Right, uh, innocent until proven guilty, not guilty until proven innocent. You know, he wasn't going to try anything because he knows he probably ain't got nothing to worry about, so he's a scumbag. Um, I wish I'd known who it was. I might have. I don't know if it messed my video. Okay, I guess I'm back on. Uh, but uh, mom doesn't want me to pursue it anymore, and I don't know. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I'm going to talk to a cop one day if I see him and just ask because I think I have a right to. Um, but I'm sure nothing can be done. I don't have the money to get no lawyer and fight him, because I would. I'd sacrifice and fight him, but uh, there's no way. Um, now to a question somebody asked me. Why do I care about going back to that bar and club? And uh, I'm going to answer that in just a second. Let me take a drink of my drink. So I'll gonna make a uh, uh, I'll comment on that now.
Um, the reason I wanted to go was because it's been a rough year for me. I've been through everything. I've suffered every single day this year, every single day. And I didn't have a lot of places I could go. I could not drive far money-wise and symptom-wise because it made my symptoms worse. Um, I had symptoms constantly. I never went 10 minutes without them. Uh, it's a little better now, but I'm still, you know, in withdrawal, still suffering. It's not over. won't be over probably for the rest of the year at least. And my sleep patterns were just erratic. I could not sleep good during the day, I mean uh, at night. So most of the time I slept during the day. And at night I would just go out because if you sat home, you're, you're constantly having these sensations and stuff. It'll drive you crazy. Um, so I would go out. And where are you going to go much at night? Most everything was closed. Um, the only things that were open were, of course, Walmart like this, McDonald's, Waffle House, and, of course, the bars and clubs until 2 in the morning. Well, I would just go there because they were free to go into. You know, you didn't have to pay cover charge, so I'd go in them. It was just somewhere to go, you know. And uh, and another reason I went, uh, and another reason I went, you know, it passed the time. And, and another reason I went, sorry about that. I guess my finger was covering that. Sorry about that. One of the other reasons I went was because, um, okay, I'm making sure nobody commented. Um, and one of the reasons I went, there was a little bit of vanity to it, too. Girls seemed to like me at that bar. I did kind of good. Um, I, mean, I don't mean I score, you know, or anything. I, I'm not able to do that if I wanted to. But uh, they would talk with me. Uh, they flirted with me. I had some that wanted to go home with me. Um, but, of course, you know, in my situation, I can't or couldn't. And that was one of the reasons I went. It was fun. I don't have any fun at all. I can't even walk around this Walmart. It messes with my nervous system, and the sensations are very painful sometimes. So I can't move, and I can't do a whole lot. Uh, I don't bother anyone, really. And uh, that was why I went. It was just somewhere to go until this stuff got better. And... That was one of the main reasons I went. Sorry about that. I'm on my phone, so I'm having to hold this thing up. Okay. It's, uh... That was why I went, and they took that away from me thanks to a woman. I know it was a woman. I can't prove it, but I know it was that said it, that lied on me and said I filmed up their skirts or something like that. You know, how ridiculous, but that's what happened. And I know that if I ever get over this withdrawal, and I'm not even close yet, I mean, I, as you can see, I was gonna show you. I'm still wearing shorts, I cannot wear pants or sweatpants, jeans or sweatpants, at least I don't think so. The jeans, I know I can't. Sweatpants, jury's still out on that one. Makes my symptoms worse, um, the sensations get worse. Uh, my skin is ultra sensitive, still is. Guess it'll be till next year before that's better. So I can't really follow up on trying to pick up girls or do anything yet. And that was one of the main reasons I did not do it. I, I just wasn't able. You know, I'm, I'm sick. I'm, my nervous system's damaged. Uh, I'm in a hypersensitive state. So I'm not able to do a whole lot. Your central nervous system controls everything. And that's why thank you tom <laughs> he says i love you i think thank you uh, i guess <laughs> that's nice though um but yeah um that's why you know and uh, it was enjoyable but the only way that i can defeat this because man that's why i warn anybody that's not good looking and i'm not insulting people i mean if you're very unattractive or you're terrible social skills, don't go to bars and clubs. You're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble because girls will, they'll, they'll turn you in, you know. They do that to screen out the scumbags in their minds, the men that they don't want. And I guess that's what happened to me. Some girl just walked up and said, oh, he did it. Yep, he did it. That's what he did. 
I'm walking around feminine up girl skirts, considering it was a cold night, many of them were wearing pants. So, I'm not going up their skirts. You know, what do you do? Um, but, I'm gonna try to eventually get in shape and do the best I can, and I'm gonna to try to become kind of a ladies' man to steer off this problem. I know that sounds crazy, it sounds ridiculous, but that's the only way a man can protect himself is to become attractive to women. That's it. Or he's gonna be in danger all the time of being turned into the authorities. He could lose his home, lose his job, lose his life. Like I said, get kicked out of places like I did. It's a crime, but men have no rights in this country. That was proven that night with me. I did nothing, no one would listen to me, nobody. So what was I supposed to do? Uh, I was guilty and I didn't do anything. I was not presumed innocent, I was presumed pretty much guilty. Well, that's about all I got to say, I guess. And um, I love you guys, I appreciate everybody being online. Leave any comments if you want um, after I make the video. And like I said, you can always leave comments here um, I always try to read your comments and answer them. I haven't answered them lately. I've been really depressed about all this, and I've suffered too. So, I uh, love you guys. Take care. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me and always being there. And as you know, the main reason I made that video that night was to document what I'm going through with this benzo withdrawal, showing you the places I go. This is one of them too. Thought I'd reverse it and just show you. It's Walmart. I'm sitting over here by myself. As you can see, there's a a bench there, and that's where I'm at. So reverse that. Okay, just showing you where I was. Um, but that's it. Um, and I will continue making these videos and things. And I will write a book on what I have gone through this year: crime against humanity. Uh, I have suffered every single day. Uh, this is wrong. People should not be going through this. People should not have to suffer the way we're suffering. And I'm talking about benzo withdrawal people. The bar is not making me suffer. At least I can get away from it. I can't get away from benzo withdrawal. It's there. And you can't take nothing for it. You can't do anything. This is a crime against humanity and every benzo sufferer has a right to be heard and a right to be vindicated because I believe that the overwhelming majority of us, me included, did not abuse our pills. We did nothing. We just took them doctor prescribed and it destroyed our bodies and nervous systems. One day I will write that book and there will be vindication for us. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. Just sit back and relax a little while. Take care guys, I love all of you guys. Thanks for being here. Any comments, I'd love if you leave a comment after I publish the video. Thanks, guys. Love you guys. Bye-bye.